All right, back out here in the old garage. I was tuning my bow, pepper tuning it, and then I got to thinking about something. Kind of run back through uh, me having shot anxiety, and if you have any shot anxiety, any form of target panic, it's a very hard thing to suppress, and throughout your career in archery, you're gonna realize that you can suppress it, and you can get rid of it, but it's gonna come back, and then you're gonna maybe get it again in the future if you don't you're a better better man than i am or woman than i am but here's how you can suppress your target panic and here's what we're going to do so this paper tuner behind me here what i come to figure out is you might just go up to 20 yards and shoot at this paper you might have the problem like i have and when you get out at further distances you kind of hang up just a little bit in your shot and you're really wanting that pin to set still. So what we're gonna do to suppress target panic and get control of our shot again is we're gonna get this paper tuner. Now you can make this out of PVC pipe, two by fours, one bys, anything you want. All you need is brown piece of paper or a piece of black paper. I don't like white paper because you can see a dot, but we're not gonna put a dot on this and we're essentially blank, blank bailing. But no dot, no line, no reference of aiming on this. We're gonna go back to whatever distance that you start feeling anxious at, and you're gonna pick a spot in this paper and stare at it. Look past your pen, stare at it, let your pen float around, and just focus on making a good, clean shot. Shoot one arrow. You're not gonna shoot multiple arrows. You're gonna shoot one arrow through this rep. Then you're going to continue to stare at that spot and shoot and shoot and shoot. What you'll notice is, is that tear on that paper is gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger. And at some point, the paper's gonna stop getting bigger because you're gonna sit around and you're gonna just stare at that spot and your arrow's gonna go there. Your pen's gonna return to the middle. You're gonna hold steady. You're gonna build up your confidence and you're gonna start shooting better shots. So we're gonna go back, I'm gonna tear this off and repeat, tear a piece of paper off and keep doing it. Do it as much as you need to until you build your confidence back up to where you feel like you can go back to actually aiming. So as I'm tearing this off, I know I kind of talked a little fast there, but the reason you're doing one arrow is because you don't wanna to have to shoot this piece of paper and you can't see where your arrow landed and then shoot two, three, four arrows in there and then worry about hitting your arrow. Cause then you're not, you're not thinking about the process. You're not thinking about making a good shot. You're focusing on, oh, where's my other arrow at? I don't want to hit my other arrow. And then you might pull a shot. So we want to focus on good form, focus on our getting our bubble level, having good form, making a good clean shot, doing everything right. Just as if we were, paper tuning. When we go to paper tune, we check our form, we check our stance, we check everything. But when we go out, we go shoot in yards, shoot at 3D target, shoot at a bag target. We kind of slack off a little bit if we don't check our form and we don't check everything. We might pull shots because we're focused on aiming. So that's why we're shooting one arrow. Do not get discouraged and don't beat yourself up if your groups are a little bit wider at first, because what you're going to find out is over time, your groups are gonna start shrinking and shrinking and shrinking and shrinking because you're not focused on aiming. You're just focused on staring at your spot. And whenever the hole gets bigger, you go, you've done shot your reps at an aiming point of your choosing. So you've done shot your reps. So over time shooting one arrow, it takes longer for that paper or that hole to get bigger. But once your hole gets a certain size, then you're staring, then you can see your aiming point, but you've done got your reps in. You've done got your focus in on shooting and making good shots and staring at what you want to hit that whenever that hole's there, it don't matter. And then that's where you get in at one point, the hole just stops getting bigger. It just stays a certain size. So let's go back here and shoot some. Like I said, we're back here at, we're back here at 40. And I'm just going to pick a, specific thing on that on that paper usually it's the center of the paper is what I go for
So I had to show the group and that's a bullet hole inside of a bullet hole. And there's the arrow on the other side. You can see it through there. So I just kind of had to showcase that a little bit. Let's see if we can keep doing it. A really good thing too, because what I've noticed is when I get farther back, if my shots don't feel good or if I happen to pull a shot, don't do something right, don't do something the same, I will be a hair knock right. And I've noticed that if you go back and if you just, even if you just shoot through paper at distance, then you can tell when you make a bad shot and when you don't make a bad shot because that's the difference between a bullet hole or a slight knock right, slight knock left because you're changing facial pressure, nose pressure, uh, release hand pressure, you might be torquing a bow, so it tells you a lot. So there you go, so far that's been about a pretty average group for me at 40 yards. And I mean, you're looking at about inside of a two inch, two inch dot. Yeah, about, a, about inside of a two inch dot. So go out, give it a try. Hope this helps some of you guys out. I know for a fact that it helped me really check on all my boxes whenever I was shooting at distance really built my confidence back up. So give it a try. I'll catch you guys on next one.